Okay guys, so today we have a problem with this Worcester Green Star 40 CDI heat only boiler. This is my own boiler in my new house. Uh, the work is still ongoing, it's not finished product yet, uh, but this boiler decided to fail on us. Uh, it comes up with the EA fault, it's intermittent, uh, but over the last few days uh, it's gone a bit more frequent now. Uh, and today, it's developed this fault permanently. So we're going to reset this boiler. We're going to have a look at it. Now it reaches ignition. Ignition works. I can hear the flame in the combustion uh, on the heat exchanger, uh, but it's not rectifying. So calculated guess is that it's a flame rectification on this. I've not checked it yet. Uh, it's a very old boiler. Can't remember when the previous owner had his service last. Um, I've definitely not serviced it about a year and a half since I purchased it, but in all honesty, I've not used it much anyway. Um, so we still need to finish this project. I've got multiple zones. I've got an unmented cylinder, which I'll show you in another video. But today is the spoiler. So let's just reset it. Let's see what we find. So if it's not rectifying, it could be the flame rectification. It could be the lead that's leading to the PCB, sending the signal back to the PCB, rectification signal or it could be the PCB itself. I'm hoping it's not the PCB uh, and it's most likely the ignition electrode. I do have one, a good one on me. So if, if, if you can see it, it's nearly new. So we have the ignition electrodes here and the flame recti rectification device. And we're gonna be changing it with this and see if it works. So I'm not gonna do any multimeter testing today on this. Uh, Whilst I was talking, I don't think you heard the ignition, but let's see if you can hear it this time. Fans on. Ignition. Fire I can hear. Flames there. And it cuts out. So it's, it's attempting, and after several, several attempts, it's just going to give us a fault code here. Um, so we'll just wait for that. And then all we're going to do is we're going to safely isolate the boiler. We're going to remove the ignition and the flame rectification leads. We will remove the actual uh, flame rectification and ignition electrode uh, and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm hoping that that was faulty because I don't have another PCB on board. We can easily check the continuity on the harness if need be, uh, but I'm hoping that it's the actual uh, electrode itself. Well, let's see, I think this is the fourth attempt and it's failed and as you can see, it's given us a fault. So I'm just going to Turn the boiler off. Okay, boiler's now turned off. Now, by just turning it off from a fuse spur and removing removing fuse, that doesn't mean that boiler's safely isolated. You need to get your test uh, lamps or voltage indicator, and you need to go through the actual proven dead scenario before you touch anything. Okay, so before you start working on it, I'm hundred percent that my boiler is safely isolated because it's actually currently on a three pin plug. The whole system is and that's unplugged there. The, before I took the casing, non-contact bolt stick, just making sure that it works. And before I touch it, just making sure that the body is not live of the boiler through any other external source. Uh, okay, so that's done. What I'm gonna be doing, I'm gonna remove all the ignition leads. Okay, let's just remove the electrode and I'm hoping that the culprit is this electrode today. So we can just quickly fix this boiler. Okay, let me just remove this gasket out of the way so you can see it properly. Yeah, so as suspected, if you can see, so that's the flame rectification device on it here, and we have the ignition electrode. Now, ignition electrode, as you can see, are quite far apart as well. Normally, a pound worth of distance, uh, thickness of pound is what the distance required here. But if you can see the flame, flame rectification on it, it's badly corroded. And I'm hoping and suspecting that's what's causing the problem. So we're going to just change it with the new one we have and let's see if it works. 
Okay. Put it back in the same way with the gasket on. Put the screws back in. back on okay let's turn the boiler back on we just need to plug it back and we're simply going to reset the boiler by pressing reset button so that's the removed electrode Hear the fire, and yep, it's holding green light, so it seems to be working perfectly fine. So, yeah, that's it, that's all fixed. Obviously, we will do our checks just to make sure all the combustion and everything's all okay. I will be changing that seal because I've got a new seal with the new ignition electrode, so I'll be changing it with this the gasket, uh, but yeah. Uh, looking at the sequence you can tell nine out of ten what may be faulty or at least you can suspect it and then you can narrow it down in this case everything was working fan was coming on it was reaching ignition i could hear that it was catching fire so gas valve was opening but then it was failing uh, it wasn't holding the flame so to me that was a flame rectification issue so yeah without doing any testing we managed to fix the spoiler i hope you enjoyed the video if you have any any comments uh, or any thoughts, drop them down in the comments below. Okay guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.